Hello Taurus and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen and this channel is dedicated to Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. We are all Taurus all the time. Um, before we get started, I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your support, subscribing, all of your comments, your likes, your shares, your donations, amazing. Um, although this is a timeless reading, when I'm channeling this, it is the beginning of January of 2024, and we've only been up and running for about three weeks, and I am so excited. You know, I have a vested interest in this too, as I am a Taurus Sun and Venus, so I'm loving all of this Taurian energy coming together, so thank you for that. Um, also, as a, as a thank you, uh, I am offering you all half off on personal readings and Reiki sessions. Yes, I do personal readings, but there's only one way to book, and that is through the description box below. There is a link to my booking site. You click on that. It's going to say Low Spirit Tarot. That is my other channel. That is my business name. So, uh, yes, that is me. Okay, because you might be confused. You'll be like, what, what's this Low Spirit Tarot? It's me. Um, click on book now and all the different readings and Reiki I have available will pop up and it, I plethora of readings and Reiki. There is one exception and that is my $5 one question reading that I'm not going to discount. But everything else will be half off. Book yours before the calendar gets full. <laughs> before the calendar gets full. All right, let's see what we have. Here. And if you've gotten a reading from me, Please put it in the comments. Let people know. All right. Show me clearly, please. Divine Source Creator. What do we have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Show us clearly, please. Thank you. All right, Taurus. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, I love it. We have Libra, which is great, okay? Um, because it's about balance, right? It's about that balance. And I know a lot of us uh, Taurians have been looking for that, right? Looking for that balance in work and play. Looking for that balance in love, give and take. Looking for that balance in money. You know, am I getting paid what I'm worth? And I really feel like you are coming into a time where it's almost like you will accept nothing less. Right? Like, I'm not going to accept anything less than what I deserve to get back from what I put into things. Um... And I, I really feel like, Taurus, you see that now. You see that where you've given too much and you don't, you haven't gotten it back, right? We have a tendency as Taurus to overgive. We do. We're nurturers. That's what we do, right? The boss says work overtime, but, you know, <laughs> you're not getting paid for it. Well, you're not accepting that anymore, right? You're just not. And it's okay. And I feel like, oh. A lot of you, when it comes to work, this feels very, it could be relationships, right? But this feels like your work, like what you do to earn money. And you're starting to make some demands. And that's okay. That's a good thing. So it would be like, um, like you're on a salary, right? You're on a salary. And yeah, you don't mind working the extra hours because you are on salary, but then it gets pushed to a point where that's all it is, right? Where it's like, I actually had that happen. <laughs> I know this energy very well. Uh, way back in the day when I had a desk job, if you will, I had a boss that I loved, absolutely loved her. She was amazing. Um, however, every time she asked uh, for the overtime to fill in, to get things done, I always said yes, always. And it drained me completely. I was not getting compensated extra for it, you know, and it was draining. And there was one day where I just finally had to say no. And I think that that's what you're doing. Now, of course, this can be in a relationship, right? It could be a friendship, romantic, where you're just like, I'm not putting any more into this if I'm not going to get back to get it back, right? So... But I do feel like it's you making this decision. Sometimes this can be a card of karma, right? Libra uh, rules the justice card in tarot. But this, I feel like you are doing it. This isn't like the universe coming in. This is you making these decisions. Very powerful decisions. I like this. So you might be asking your 
boss for a raise, and that's okay. That's a good thing, right? Like, know your worth. <laughs> you might be raising your prices if you, uh, you know, have your own business, and that is okay. Know your worth. People will pay for good quality things, right? So, I love it. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message here? What is the message? Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message here? One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Okay. All right. What is the message here? Show us clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? This is a shift in the cosmos, I'm telling you, because I'm using, I don't pick the decks, Spirit picks the decks, but we're using the Star Code deck, we're using the Quantum Tarot here, the Star Seed. So this is a big shift, okay, for you. And I love that, yeah, Ten of Swords, right? I've been used and abused, whether they meant it or not. My boss, uh, you know, back in that job, she was not trying to do anything harmful, in any way, she just knew she could depend on me. So again, but this is the end for you. I, again, I just feel like whatever, the, it's still general reading. So whatever this is for you, Taurus, I just get this feeling like I'm done being taken advantage of. Whether the people know they're taking advantage of you or not. I mean, some of them know they are. But I don't get a real bad vibe of it. Some of them don't even realize they're doing it. And I think you stand up for yourself here. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like the seven of wands. Like you just kind of stand up for yourself. It doesn't mean you're aggressive. It doesn't mean that you're mean about it. It's just like you walking into the office and saying, hey, you know, I've done all this work and I really, I can't continue to do all this unless we renegotiate my salary. And I don't think you're even nervous about it. I think you just go in very calmly and that can be, like I said, in a friendship and a romance and whatever it is, you just, uh, yeah, <laughs> show me clearly. What is the message? Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. You communicate this to whomever or apply it to your situation, Taurus, and things change very quickly because here is the eight of wands. That's the communication, right? That's you putting it out there. And it's also, um, it, it's getting communication back. And that communication is ace of cups, right? That is okay. Right, this could be where the new beginning would be like you go to your boss and you say, you know, and I'm just using that as an example. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Um, that I, yeah, I we re need to renegotiate my renegotiate my salary, and the boss goes, well, you know what? I got something better for you. I got a promotion. I've got a different department where you're really going to feel great and you're going to feel fulfilled along with the money. Okay, along with the money, and. Um, And, it, and it's very fulfilling, right? It's like, ah, good, thank you. Like, feel good about this. So, again, I just feel like you just need to say it, right? A lot, we, we don't like confrontation. I get it, Taurus, I don't either. But sometimes we have to say what we have to say. You have to just go. And I don't really feel like there's confrontation. I think there's more awareness on the other person's part, on the boss, on the romantic partner, on the friendship, on whatever it is, right? I do feel like, I don't feel like they're like, no, or fighting with you on it. I'm like, they're more like, oh, okay, <laughs> right? Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know you felt that way. Show me clearly. What is the message? Oh my, yeah. That's too many over here, but there's one that flew over here, which I really, really love. Um, this is your chariot energy. This is your success. This is you taking off, right? This is, you know, the eight of wands, minor arcana of this. And it's like, there's just so much success, so much travel in this. Okay. This can be, travel can be that promotion. Like I said, you know, it can be, we have to think on bigger terms when we use the word travel, but this is you getting your desires, uh, who is that? Abraham? Is it Abraham Hicks? I mean, I should know this. That talks about the rocket of desire. You have to put it out there, right? You have to communicate this. And then there is much success, right? And very quick success. 
think that's Abraham Hicks. <laughs> I don't know why I'm second guessing myself there, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to put it out there. Uh, the Seven of Cups is when <clears throat> we are not really in alignment, you know? Like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like I'm getting what I deserve. And I really believe you can see it, right? You can feel it and you can see it that, you know, I'm really just not getting back what I'm putting into this. I've been confused for so long or afraid, fearful to ask for that raise or to ask to be reciprocated what I put into this. But I feel like you get that some, like, Maybe it's this reading that goes, yeah, I need to go ask for what I deserve. What else do we have? <laughs> My goodness. My goodness, yes. Um, this is the outcome. If you don't get what you deserve, you walk away. And that's okay because there's something bigger and better, right? It's like, it's almost like I'm willing to walk away from this if I don't get it. And there is a story I will tell you, a friend of mine, years ago, two years ago, uh, in the roofing business, um, was not making what he deserved. And I said to him, I said, you need to go ask. You're valuable. You need to go ask for that raise. And he was like, but what if they say no? And I said, if they say no, you have to be willing to walk away because that's just the universe telling you there's something better. Um, and I think that's the, the feeling you have to have. I don't think you're all going to walk away because they're showing me his situation. Well, what he did is he did go into his boss and he did say very clearly, hey, I love working for you. I, I love this company. It's great, but I'm doing all this work and I really need more pay. And he was only going to ask for a couple dollars raise, right, working hourly. Um, and bef the boss, before he could move on, said, you know what? Yeah, we don't want to lose you. You're amazing. You're always here. You're dependable, all this stuff. And got like $7 raise. And if you're working hourly, that's a lot. But I think emotionally you have to be in alignment and you have to be willing to walk away from the situation if they say no. Because that's the worst thing that could happen. They say no, right? And I think if you get your feelings straight around that Taurus, you'll have the courage, right, to go to go do it. Either way, you've got an Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Either way, like in this scenario, again, not going to not going to be the exact scenario for all of you. Either they say yes, and there's your new beginning, or they say no, and there's your new beginning because <laughs> there's something better, right? I just want to make sure you're very clear on that right like you have to because there is something about again i don't feel like the other person's necessarily taking advantage the boss the romantic partner when i because i keep hearing not a mind reader right nobody's a mind reader you got to express how you feel and i think it turns out really well for you okay show us clearly what is the message here Show us clearly. I would also look up um, angel number 777. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Uh, look up angel number 777 and find the one that resonates with you, Taurus, because there's going to be a lot of different meanings. I mean, they're all somewhat similar. but um, And I think that's funny because when I left my desk job to do this full time, this is years ago. I had gone to go get a coffee at a certain company. We all know which one, but I don't, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, so I don't want to mention it. And my receipt total uh, was $7.77, and I framed that as a sign that I was going in the right direction because <laughs> that was a big leap of faith, right? And again, I feel like this Ace of Cups, whether it is in your current relationship or there's something else that comes in a new job offer a new relationship whatever it is very very much meant to be I, I guess that's the way I would say it oh before I could even ask yeah strength there you go 
I was wondering where that strength card would come out, you know, the courage to do it. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. See? A positive outcome is assured. I like that. I, I don't think you should uh, be afraid to go communicate this, whatever this is for you. So Taurus, with that being said, all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.